Yeah, we're here at the ninth European uh, Space Debris Conference. Uh, that's a big gathering of more than 400 scientists addressing all issues and problems related to space debris. Today, we all rely on, on uh, space activities. That includes communication, navigation, Earth observation. Also, our uh, accounting systems, for example, uh, we need uh, precise timing information um, to control uh, the, the path of airplanes over the Atlantic Ocean, for example. They all rely on on, on satellites uh, and satellite uh, services. If space debris hits a satellite and if it's a larger piece of space debris, most likely the satellite will uh, after that be out of operation or even be completely destroyed and fragmented into thousands of objects. And that's a risk for these services, which we all today rely on. Here are also discussions ongoing about how to mitigate a further creation of space debris, for example, to deorbit satellites, uh, to make them more reliable uh, for uh, passivation activities. We have, uh, for example, developed a radar system called GESTRA. We are currently procuring uh, satellite laser ranging systems to improve our knowledge about space debris in Earth orbit. And all that data is then fed into the German Space Situation Awareness Center, but we will also make it available for further research. So in, in future, space debris uh, will become uh, a, a more challenging, more, a more pressing issue. issue. Because um, with increasing space activities, uh, of course, we also have to expect more space debris. So it really needs to be tackled that we avoid the creation of further space debris. Ideally, we would be at a stage where basically no new space debris is being uh, produced by new space activities. And we are even in a, in a situation uh, to remove uh, old derelict uh, space debris, uh, so big objects, from Earth orbit.